Gwydi Cwrw yr yn gedal chi a stof ffyrcyn o hwsar am feiliaf tron ona yr yn ochod tofachtoch cilwyrwch sio. It is a very great pleasure to be here with you this afternoon in the surroundings of the National Photographic Archive and uh, I'm delighted that you have had the richness that is available to researchers and to members of the public and future generations, both in terms of the National Library of Ireland and, if you like, and the great images that are stored here, that in fact are regarded now as having made a very significant uh, European contribution. Today we remember not only the long journey towards gay and lesbian rights that was undertaken in this country, but the central and courageous role played by Chris Robson during that journey. I'm honoured as well that I'm doing so in the presence of his partner. Uh, Chris was a determined, brave and active crusader for equality and human rights for many years, and his commitment to the values and content of equality in all its forms was central to many landmark achievements in our society, including the decriminalisation of homosexuality in 1993 and the introduction of civil partnerships in 2010. I clearly remember 1993 and the rapidity of the passing of that legislation, mm -hmm. uh, the reluctance of people to speak, and I was very, very, very moved by the gratitude of Maura Gagan Quinn to myself for supporting her in the debate about the significance of the passing of the legislation in Galway City. As a Glen founder and lifelong member, uh, he was a, I think Chris was a significant leader and comrade uh, to those who shared a long and difficult journey, which saw slow and gradual change from a society where many of our citizens were forced to engage with their sexuality in an environment of hostility, distrust, secrecy and ignorance to one where lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender citizens were granted an equal voice in that society. But as always bear in mind those for whom those changes came too late. I think of the many forced into immigration, forced to live lives of fear, intimidation, blackmail and repression and frustration. There can be no doubting the pivotal role that Chris played in the campaign to bring about broad-ranging equality legislation. And as a founder member not only of the Gay and Lesbian Equality Network, but the Dublin Lesbian and Gay Men's Collective and the Campaign for Equality, he will be remembered as a pioneering and courageous campaigner. His role in the development of the European response to the AIDS crisis uh, through the European Council of AIDS Service Organisations was a critical and important one and it showed that concern for rights knew no, knew no borders. We, as a nation, can be very proud of his central contribution to the campaign ensuring that the European Union Amsterdam Treaty included lesbians and gay men in its equality provisions. And while there can be no doubt that Chris has already left a deep imprint on the landscape of this country, his extraordinary collection of photographs which has now been digitised, will serve as a peopled and colourful record of a long struggle for equality and recognition. And then too, as a contributor to the powerful art form that is photography itself, Chris displays in these 2,000 or so, 1,923 <laughs> images, all the creativity and ingenuity of the true artist. Not only does he bring us deeply into the many individual moments that would later join together to create an overall experience spanning many years. He also enables us to imagine that which is taking place behind the chosen images, allowing us, after all, as outsiders, about to, to, be, by, uh, to, uh, to think about the insight and give us insight into the hurt and pain and exclusion inflicted upon and felt by so many in our society across those years. And the importance, too, of the comfort achieved in the strength of mutual support and solidarity, those collective images of where people celebrate the sense of solidarity that is there when people come together for a right cause. And today, 
We live in what I regard as the unfinished project of achieving a more enlightened and tolerant society, one where all hate and exclusion will no longer be acceptable. There will, I hope, be many happy endings to the stories glimpsed in this collection. Like all profound change, progress did not happen easily and certainly did not fall from the sky. It was, like all rights, no easily experienced evolution, and it happened because of tireless years of effort by Chris and many of you who are here today in raising public awareness of the issues of discrimination faced by the LGBT community and to challenge old preconceptions and attitudes. And future generations will thank you for your efforts in that regard. So I thank today, this evening, all who have been involved in this emancipatory and life-enhancing work which has helped us move closer to a society where every person is not only treated with dignity and respect but allowed to experience the fullness and the joy of their lives in the public space as well as in private. Sadly, Chris did not live to see the day when Irish citizens would vote to change the constitution to extend civil marriage rights to same-sex couples. May the 22nd of this year would have been a very proud and joyful day for Chris, a day which owed much to his persistent advocacy across many decades. For those who were his closest friends, no words of mine could be significant, of course, but now you can know his work lives on in the beautiful expression of his talent. I know, however, that he remained very much in the hearts and minds of many people on that joyful day, a day which owed so much to his efforts. Today we celebrate the donation of a remarkable collection of photographs to the National Photographic Archive, where they can take their place in the records of our nation's history, its struggles. It is thus reassuring that this collection of photographs will be safely preserved enabling us not just to look back and see from what we have come, from what we have extricated ourselves, the obstacles and the ignorance overcome, but look ever more purposefully and confidently into the future as a progressive, fully inclusive and modern nation. In launching this, we celebrate the memory and legacy of Christopher Robson, a man who has played a profoundly humane and generous role in that history. Agus Tom Witna, Agus Begna Glunta Tolichiat, Fir Buiko, Asan Meda Rinishe, Ego Ludana Dinielia, Evie Gabar, and San Kartana Andena. Agus is privileged to him, they live Tronona. Karamila Mahaki, thank you.